Hey guys, Sunspan here, and just want to give you an update on all things Dota Cinema. Sorry for not having a webcam. I'm in the process of getting a new one because while I was away at DAC, uh, our cats che uh, chewed completely through the wire. So, actually they chewed through the wire of Sajidine, and she stole my webcam, so I had to get one for myself. It's just the way things are done. All right, firstly, let's talk a little bit about top plays. There are a bunch of reasons why we haven't come out with more episodes, and I know that a lot of people focus on the fact that, well, I mean, it's not to their fault, of course, because I bring it up a lot, that we just didn't have a lot of quality plays, which was true, but it's not exactly the whole story. Um, I, didn't want, I don't want to get too specific here, but what I will say is that we've restructured the way in which we look at plays to make it more efficient on our side, uh, and as a result, we'll be expecting episodes to become a little bit more consistent. Uh, I'd like to give a huge thanks to Quantum, who's helped build a system in which we can actually view the replays, and also thanks to Sajidine for taking over the community team. So as far as timetable, well, I'd say in the next week or two to expect the next episode for top plays. Um, I'm not sure if we can do it weekly, but I will say twice a month is definitely doable. Um, I mean, once we have our system in place, it's really up to the quality of the plays as far as how consistent the episodes will be. Uh, we could do it weekly if we really wanted to, but I think at the end of the day, it'll be a disservice to you guys. Is it probably won't be very good, plain and simple. Now let's talk about fails. For those that don't know, Reeves is no longer with Dota Cinema, which is why we haven't come out with an episode in a really long time. And on top of that, with me covering uh, the Asia Championships in LA for basically three weeks, I haven't had any time to focus on uh, the series at all. But at the end of the day, this is completely up to you guys. I'm really interested to read any constructive comments about what you think we should do with the series, because, I don't know, back when I created the fails, I thought it would be a nice change of pace from what people were used to, and it became pretty successful. Uh, I, I definitely think we can bring it back, and it probably will still be good. It's just it will be different, and that's the thing that people, you have to be ready for that, I guess. Uh, so the question is, do you guys want us to scrap the series entirely or try to bring somebody else in or do something completely different that I just haven't thought of? Uh, either way, just let us know in the comments. I'll read through as many as I can. Just, just keep in mind that when we ask for feedback, I typically don't put too much weight on upvoted comments because it's an extremely easy system to abuse. And because of that, I'm just going to look at like the individual comments. So if you have an opinion one way or another, just write something instead of upvoting. Although you can upvote if you want, that's totally up to you. For other series, we currently have what we have Headshot, Symphony of Fails, Symphony of Skills, A to Z Dual Lane Challenge. We've also resurrected the top five pro plays, Mythbusters. Uh, and if we bring back top plays and fails, then I think we have a nice set of content going again. Uh, we may have room for a couple new series as well that we're thinking about doing, and I don't want to get too into that since I can't promise anything yet, but just know that things are planned. So I guess that's kind of... I'd like to thank you guys for watching and for continuing to support us through interesting times and not-so-interesting times. Uh, but lastly, and even though a lot of you may not care, I, I guess I... I'd like to be transparent about something. The main thing I've been personally working on is the competitive aspect to Dota Cinema. And I think it's the most important thing that we can do, or the, the most important thing that we can do as an organization is to help bridge the gap between competitive and casual play. So instead of doing all things casual, it's best to mix it up. And the reason for that, it comes down to my personal belief that the competitive play is what extends the lifespan of a game. Uh, that's been my experience pretty much throughout my gaming career, if you can call it that. Uh, I mean, I have, no, I, I have no idea how long Dota 2 will be around, but I know a big part of su its success will be the continued success of the competitive scene. And kind of like what I was alluding to earlier, it, I feel like it's our responsibility as an organization to try to cater to both audiences. Because if we don't do it, then I don't know who will. So that's pretty much it. So I guess... I will bid you all adieu. Until next time, this is Sunsfan, signing out.